Right, uh, this is the continuation of the previous uh, video part A of the audit reporting. This is, this is not a separate video where you, uh, you, where you should watch. So please go back and watch the webinar number the 8, if I'm not mistaken, that is the, the audit reporting part A. Right, so don't watch this as an isolated uh, the video. So right, part A of the video, we discuss the audit report format and how the audit report is issued by the auditor in a practical circumstances with a practical audit report and there were 13 sub elements that you had to learn in the audit report. So now part B of this video we are going to discuss uh, another important one that is the part A we discuss the audit report in a general circumstances. In a general circumstances mean there are no issues. There are no issues but auditor gives a, a we call unmodified audit report that mean a general audit report stating that the finance statement prepared by the management is or are free from material misstatement. It's a general audit report, a positive conclusion that no material misstatement. That is the case in the most of the circumstances when we, when we do the audit of finance statement because all the companies are that finance statement they do not have a material misstatement. Even if there are material misstatement, auditor may tell please adjust the finance statement otherwise we will modify the audit report. So, given such circumstances, most of the companies, they do not want to get uh, bad imaged or a bad uh, uh, imaged in the public or given to the shareholder. So, therefore, so they may change the, uh, the, the finance statement accordingly, auditor will issue a general audit report. But there are certain circumstances, auditor comes to know the audit report so, auditor comes to know in the finance statement contains material misstatement and there are certain other scenarios that we have to discuss. If such circumstances come in, auditor has to change the audit report. That change in the general standard audit report we call modified audit report. Right. What is going to happen? Look at here carefully in the board. The our basic diagram, management is preparing the finance statement and given to the shareholders or a stakeholders and stakeholders appoint a third party person called chartered accountant auditor to come and check this finance statement and after checking this finance statement, auditor is giving an audit report, right. In this audit report, auditor generally say this finance statements are free from material misstatement that is our general conclusion right or in a alternative words what we learned in the previous video that is true and fair or we can say true and fair right so that is call a general audit report or a standard audit report, right. So, let us say we say there is a word used for this type of audit report that is right unmodified unmodified report. In practice we say this is a clean audit report, we call practice make a clean report, no problem clean report. We call other way technical word unmodified audit report. But in there are certain circumstances where auditor has to change the audit report, right, amend that audit report, amend that audit report. amended audit report to address a certain circumstances in the certain circumstances in the audit of the finance statement which the auditor conducted for that we call modified audit report modified report right in general audit report what we discuss there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What is that? 
in a general audit report you had a 13 section which should be included in the final report of the auditors of finance statement i don't know whether you can remember now entire 13 section in the previous video we try to remember it so i don't know whether you can remember so entire 13 if you can remember actually you have a passionate and you have i mean you have an interest of this subject you want to really study on that by watching the previous video itself you should remember in your mind this uh, 13 sub element but what happened this 13 sub elements are going to be changed going to be amended to address the different scenarios that are encountered by the auditor during the audit of finance statement so that is called modified audit report so which i want to summarize you again the auditor's objective is to state that the finance statement prepared by the management is free from material misstatement that is a general audit report that is called unmodified audit report when you are giving this unmodified audit report there are 13 sub elements starting from title and uh, ending with the date of the auditor's report so if you can remember title right addressee opinion paragraph basis for opinion and then key audit matters other information then the responsibility for the finance statement and then auditors responsibility legal and other compliances and then engagement partners number the signature right addressed and the date you should be able to tell like me like 13 you should be able to tell it should be in your body inside the body and then this 13 is going to be changed in the circumstances to address a specific situation that is called modified audit report so general standard report are going to be changed into address to specific circumstances that is called modified audit report so that's what we are going to discuss now so you should have a very thorough understanding towards to this uh, the classification right so before moving into that detailed discussion so you need to have a understanding on a two words so before moving into the today's uh, the discussion on the detailed audit report modified audit report there are two principles that you should aware right one is material what is material I'm, I'm not going to discuss the material at a standard which was there under the audit planning but I'm tell, going to tell you a summary what is material it's very difficult concept to define the materiality because now this materiality is a highly subjective concept let's say uh, when you when you go when you are let's say when you are going when you are now today shall we say you are at the chartered institute today now third floor now i mean this third floor and let's say me and then i'm getting down let's say and when i'm going in the road i can see let's say uh, 20 rupees 20 rupees on the road or 10 rupees in the road 10 rupees on the road will i take Rupial the hat, you know, Rupial Napito Avagamuko, then walk over Handi in no, Kola Handi, Basaka and Aginagala Kola Handi, Basalta in no quarter, Rupial Pandahe, Koleak, Pahata with an Amala Bimadala Tino. Vimatila, that'll be better. Pandahe Koleak, Pahata Namila Bimadino. Then make gun no the net. Then Nanga gun nakila. Even at the Pandahaki and Midasal to Loko Prasna, could it firmly salary radicar and Nedne, it was a job scarn tangula salary radicar and nappy cards, so come a covid de gatta, come a stockwella in them prasna, the good eye, Pandah Colatina, Gano the Nedde, Gano the Nedde, Kodaka, Gana, Kila Hitalagana, Aranganamaki, him in the Pulva. Why? That five thousand is important for you these days, especially the covid nineteen, given the covid nineteen circumstances. Abhidham ko mehmadi a dhammi ka pereera, famous businessman, entrepreneur, sort of famous, uh, you know, the famous one, dhammi ka pereera, Mr. Dhammi ka pereera, Mr. Dhammi ka pereera, 
I mean, as an example, I am taking na. So this is just to for explain to you. Then, so damn me, what period? I am not quite. Yeah, that kind of rupee, I panda have. Collect, give that. Then, I call handy. No, give good handy. Then, yeah, we panda have. Gani, then add. So, my yard, then, I will panda have. What is it? Rupee, I panda have. So, it's I have in a billions money. So, five thousand. It is very, very good. Five thousand is material to you, but five thousand is not material to me. So, damn me, what period? Then look at the second circumstances. Then, oye kahu wala handiye bas sold tege. Ilang ka dawase wai inna kotha rupeeal pahe kasi ati na bimvetla. The rupeeal pahe kasi ganna wadhen adh. The rupeeal pahe kasi akaran then topiya kanna wadh bani. The rupeeal pahe kasi kena uchchare bori bennya ni ne. Alright. Rupeeal pahe kasi reload dekwa daaga ne bula na wakani varin ganno. Alright. हाँ भाई तेरे को तो नहीं आना वहाँ मे को वाला हांडी उतने इन्ना अभी तो मे को ये बात सोल्ट के इन्ना मे 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 अभी की मे को बात सके करेक न तभी मे कटा की मे को बेगा के नेक किन्ना वाई के राइट तेरे का रुपया लपा हाथ आखिनो गान्ना वधन अद्द गान्नो तब बालान लोग मेल असर उदाहरण है अर रुपया � अरे रुपियल पहाड़ टे मटेरियल ने है भाई रुपियल पहाड़ है बस सोल्ट के ही टपु एक कनाटे मटेरियल यू सी दिस मटेरियलिटी कॉन्सेप्ट इज अ हाईली जजमेंटल हाईली सब्जेक्टिव इट कैन नॉट बी डिजाइडेड बाय अ थ्रेशोल इट कैन नॉट बी डिजाइडेड बाय अ बेंचमार्क इट कैन नॉट बी डिजाइडेड बाय लुक Based on the person who is going to make the decision, this is called high-end in-depth auditing theories, which we can discuss on the CL1 webinars in the later. But this materiality mean what I am telling you the theory materiality. I am going to tell you a few example. This finance statement, which are audited by the auditor, let's say, in this finance statement, there are some misstatement like this. Misstatements can errors and frauds. Let's say under property plan and equipment you have a ten rupee error. Under the intangible asset you have a ten thousand error. Under the cash you have a two million error. Under the deferred tax you have a fifty thousand error. Let's say five hundred thousand. And under the loans. You have a three hundred thousand error, right? And let's say another one, another one million error of let's say in a income and hundred thousand error in let's say in the expenses. When you are auditing the finance statement, audit of finance statement. When auditor goes and check the finance statement, you identify all these issues in the audit. That is called misstatement. You identify. Now, what is your objective? What is what is your objective? Your objective is to state that the finance statement prepared by the management is or are free from material misstatement. Your objective is to state that the finance statements are. Free from material misstatement. That means auditor should not bother about all these misstatement. Should auditor may come again worry when no one the. Nah, he na audit karan ne when na. Auditor is worried about what material misstatement. Now you tell me what is material? What is material? What is material to the auditor? Just say this. The is this material? To auditor, now your conclusion may be rupeeal dhaha hai ne, eka ne, right? Rupeeal dhaha dhaha material the, rupeeal dhaha dhaha mukadda ne material ne nimida vassal, right? Dhaha dhaha material ne, right? Two million na mu, five hundred thousand no, three hundred thousand no, one million no, hundred thousand no. That is your auditor's judgment. This is material. These two are not material. These are material. Now let's say auditor A. Now auditor B comes. For him, this hundred thousand, three hundred thousand will not be material. Okay. Now Suraj is here. Now Suraj say auditor C. 
for him nothing is material why he thinks this what is this amount all billions we will talk these are not material you see the materiality is a concept highly judgmental it depends on the person to person so therefore now just this is a little bit advanced right then material level kiyana ka odita gen odita ta wenas wenawa pudgalaya gen pudgalaya ta wenas wenawa man ara panda hai udaharana kiyu ekai panda ha dammika perera ta material ne ha bai owa ta material ara rupial paha wa ta material ne ha bai ara bus hold ekak inne karana material ekak nisa api materiality kiyana ka pudgalaya gen pudgalaya ta wenas wenawa odita gen odita ta wenas wenawa thiye ekak nisa dan me odit ekak kpmg ekak korot eyalage material level material definition ekai නැත්තම් ක්‍රිස්ටන් කරොත් එයාලගේ මැටීරියල් ඩිෆිනිෂන් එකයි තම් ඊවයි කරොත් එයාලගේ මැටීරියල් ඩිෆිනිෂන් එකයි වෙනස් වෙන්න පුළුවන් right so i'm coming for a important point right so now let's say this materiality if the auditor is trying to define that as the auditor want it is completely wrong it is completely wrong auditor cannot decide what is material to the auditor auditor cannot decide what is material to the auditor now what is most important concern here auditor has to decide auditor is going to tell the conclusion to the shareholder the finance statement prepared by the managements are free from material misstatement that material to whom is it to the auditor no it is to the shareholder material because why depend looking at this finance statements who is making the decision the shareholder since the shareholder is making the decision looking at the finance statement then material mean to whom the material to shareholder you got my point so therefore when you are auditing a finance statement the materiality concept should be look not the auditor feel but it, it should be the level in which the decisions are change of the shareholders ekena kotas simiyange thiranaya aayojana thiranaya වෙනස්කරන මට්ටම තමයි ප්‍රමාණාත්මක භාවය මම නැත්තම් මැටීරියලිටි කියලා කියලා කියන්නේ අපි මේ කොටස් හිමියන් තමන්ගේ ආයෝජන තීරණය වෙනස් කරන මට්ටම ඒ කියන්නේ මේ කොටස් හිමියෝ මේ කම්පැනියගේ රුපියල් 10ක ප්‍රශ්නයක් තිබුණයි කියලා මේ කම්පැනිය ආයෝජනය නොකර ඉන්නේ නැහැ මේ කම්පැනිය රුපියල් 10ක ප්‍රශ්නයක් තිබුණයි කියලා මේ කම්පැනියගේ ආයෝජනය නොකර ඉන්නේ නැහැ මොකද ආයෝජන තීරණය වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ හැබැයි මේ කම්පැනියේ මිලියන දෙකක ලක්ෂ 20ක වැරදක් තියෙනවා කියලා කිව්වොත් සමහර විට මේ කොටස් හිමියා මේ Tamange ආයෝජන තීරණය වෙනස් කරන්න පුළුවන් අන්න මේ ආයෝජන තීරණය වෙනස් කරන මට්ටමට අපි කියනවා material level එක කියලා this is an advanced beautiful auditing the level in which the decision of the shareholders are made we call the level of materiality in simple terms ආයෝජකයා නැත්තම් කොටස් හිමියාගේ තීරණ තීරණයන් වෙනස් කරන මට්ටමට අපි කියනවා ප්‍රමාණාත්මක භාවය materiality කියලා. Now but the here the difficult concept here is now audit is giving an opinion to the shareholder stating that the free from material misstatement. The free from material misstatement ඒ කියන්නේ ඔයාට material වෙන misstatement වලින් මේක තොරයි කියලා කියන්නේ. This finance statement do not contains a misstatement which could change your decisions that is the auditor's objective now the difficult part of here is this is advanced auditing the difficult part of difficult part of this discussion is now let's say auditor is going to give an opinion to the shareholder stating that the finance statements are free from material misstatement to the shareholder free from material to shareholder material mistake shareholder material and misstatement na kiyala etokota auditors auditor ta tamange judgment ekak metenna daanna ba meka mata material meka mata material na meka mata material mata nevei kaata da shareholder so therefore auditor has to understand the shareholder's point of view whether it is material to the shareholder or not not to the auditor but you know practical circumstances it is difficult 
if you really look at look at into the the companies which are in share market in Colombo share market or any other share market there are thousand shareholders starting from Sadamika Perera is to to the down the line rupial the hayak in this karapu podi podi shareholders lati no ita kota how auditor can decide the each shareholders decision level changing how auditor can decide at what level the decisions are change of the shareholder it practically cannot be done. I am telling you the theory, but practically cannot be done. So therefore, in the global, there is a something called rule of thumb. Loka sammate ke lekakti ra. The loka sammate it anuva. When we conduct the audit of finance statement, auditor has to decide the materiality level. Auditor has to decide the materiality level using the rule of thumb. Since different different auditors, different different shareholders are applying this material the concept in a different manner the rule of thumb has been introduced by the ISA international standard on auditing accordingly when you are deciding your materiality there is a standard formula right in that standard formula the standard formula is benchmark into benchmark into percentage that is the standard formula this benchmark could be there are five benchmark one of them can be decided by the auditor one is profit before tax right the revenue gross profit GP and total asset and mainly net asset right in addition to that auditor can, auditors can decide further benchmark but these are the commonly accepted benchmark right and also the percentages are there five to ten percent percentages can be used and sometime one to three percent 1 to 3 percent and 2 to 5 percent likewise there are different percentages are given here right so now each audit firm has their own percentage you follow following these benchmarks each audit firm has the their their own mechanism because this is a guideline accordingly audit firms have chosen now, now I'm, I'm, I'm going to one example in our audit firm we use the if it is a private limited company PBT into 7 percent there are certain firms use 5 percent there are certain firms use 10 percent it depends on the firm uh, the firm audit methodology but what I am trying to say here irrespective of the auditors judgment irrespective of the shareholders view there is a rule of thumb call where you can decide the material level right but what benchmark is to be applied it depends on the company depending on the situation depending on the finance statement line item depending on the so much of other factors so which i'm not going to explain now it is a separate auditing standard in your study text you can read under the audit planning right so now let's say in this particular company material level i'm going to decide pbt into 10 percent let's say 5% let's say the 10% is too much in generally remember PPT into 5% is the global accepted method now in your in your case in your odd examination if uh, the examiner has given a question to for you to ascertain the answer you need to aware about the what is materiality level always use the PBT into 5% if the profit making company but if there are if it's a loss making company that asset driven company then you have to go for the other benchmark that you have to learn under the separate auditing standard under the audit planning but in this pbt into five percent let's say right i would say i'm going to discuss about 10 million is the profit before tax so that into five percent 10 million into five percent 10 million is the company profit before tax that into 5 million 5 percent mean 10 percent mean 1 million so that mean 5 percent mean 5 lakhs right without a calculator i can't do i don't know whether it's correct i should be correct right i all we are auditors we are always used to calculate right 10 million into 5 percent right 500,000 I, I hope that is correct right so now you are your material level is 500,000 now you know better what is material what is not material 10 rupee error is not material right and then 10,000 error is not material why less than 500,000 2 million material 
500,000 exactly, exactly same figure. Then you have to take it as material, right? Then 300,000, not material, 1 million, yes, 100,000, no. You see, the previously you made the judgment based on your feeling, but now we made the judgment with a one standard mechanism. That's how the audit materiality is decided. So therefore, when you are auditing the finance statement in this particular circumstances, if you have the misstatements 500,000 or above, we call as a material misstatements. I hope that you are very clear because this is a very important thing you should aware when you are addressing the audit reporting questions. Okay? Right. So, I am going to delete this one now. Right. Another important concept what we discussed was this finance statements can contain misstatements. Such misstatement could be either material which we discussed. Now, the second one, pervasive. Have you heard this word? Pervasive, pervasive, pervasive. 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 Material and pervasive. What is that? Need to have a clear cut understanding. Pervasive impact. Pervasive impact take a matakati yaga and a mama podi udahar and a kyan nang. Golf face gin the inwani. Golf face. Emina tang. Muda muda. The muda muda dakala na tia tin na puluang. Mami muda dak. I think video king hari dakala tin on. The goal face seka pita moko dame charit kara ta osala me da osala padang kara la padang kara la padang kara la deng me sampurem stress swadi vela deng in ne deng o da yana goal face seka ta hava swela oka gila raya vene vela oka gila goal face seka ta gila dame me purpose unas kene ka purpose unas me kola purpose we effect or a purpose unas kene ka dame ike na gan ne ane dame mu goal face seka ta gila mbala la me mu huda kochera loku da kila me mu huda Cerita loko tu, memuda, recall, mereka it's very large, ati bishalai, it's pervasive, memuda ati bishalai, memuda kocer loko tu kini orang, at at api balik loko tu memuda i, aha sayi, ikat tu yang orang kila pita pina, beri tenda jarum sayi ikat tu yang na. I took this example for you to explain what is pervasiveness, what is pervasive, material and pervasive. The pervasive mean impact is very large. The material mean, yes, it's material, it's large. It is large, material mean large. But pervasive mean it's very large. Ati vishalai. That the meaning you should remember, right? So, when you are looking at the finance statement concern, there are certain misstatements, those are material. There are certain misstatements, those are pervasive. Let's say, in a previous example, what we discussed, there is a company, in this company, the depreciation charge, which is accounted by the companies, let's say, 10 million, okay, but correct depreciation, correct depreciation that should be is 12 million. Now, there is a misstatement of 2 million. Understand this one, huh? The correct, the, the depreciation expenditure that is accounted by the company is 10 million. But the correct depreciation amount that should be accounted, uh, accounted according to the auditor's computation, 
that is 12 million. Now there is a 2 million misstatement in the final statement. Let us say our material level of this particular company is right 1 million. Just try to understand right. Our material level when our material level is 1 million. When there is a misstatement of 2 million, it is large or extra large that you can't make a decision immediately. When you at the outset itself your conclusion is that issue is 2 million but above the material level, so therefore this is a material misstatement. You got my point? Misstatement kila kya the company Finance statement pala, accounting standards work non compliance misstatement that we learned at the beginning. Okay. So now purpose you mean it's an extra large impact. The extra large impact how that comes. Let's say, right, there is a there are multiple issues. Now in a company, if there is a issue only we have one issue. We have only one issue. That one issue is related to only depreciation. Right? Let's say there in when you are auditing a finance statement, most of the items are wrong. Let's say we call many items. effects to many items. Let us say example, right, PP, intangible asset, inventory, debtors, expense. Likewise, instead of finance statement, not only depreciation, not only one or two item, there are many issues. Now, see, if it is one or two issues, it is material, but if there are many issues affecting a many finance statement line item, inventory, debtors, creditors, everywhere it is affected, most 70 80 percent is affected. So, then it is not only material, it is pervasive to the finance statement. We call there are two concepts one is material, other one is pervasiveness, we call pervasive. So, if there is an issue, or uh, multiple issues which are affecting the many light item of the finance statement that is another pervasive effect right and number two effects to one item understand but it represent substantial portion of finance statement. Let us say in the first item it effect into the many line item. In the second it effect only to one item like this, but it is a substantial percentage of the finance statement. I will tell you one example for you to remember. In a company, in the company assets, we have in the balance sheet only these assets, right. Let us say cash 100 rupees, in some property let us say 20 million right and we say debtors 100,000 right all together 100, 120 million, 100,000, 100 rupees. Total asset of the company look at here carefully, yeah, yeah, these are difficult auditing. The total asset of the company let us say cash 100, in some property 20 million and the debtors 100,000, total asset of the company 20 million 100,000 100 rupees. Now, you identify when there is a misstatement in this investment property 20 million is wrong. See, in a difficult la, company ke asset ke gatha ma 20 million worth of asset tiyana company ke ga item tunai tiyenne item tune in cash debtors and innocent property eking 99.9 represent karana item ekak varadi 
then if you follow this definition depreciation policy there is a previous one it is material but remember it is not only material it is pervasive why the effect to effect this issue issue is only in one item now press scenario it issues in the many item then it is pervasive but the second scenario it is only in one item but that one item represent a substantial portion of the the balance sheet or a statement of financial position in such circumstances it is also defined not only material but as a pervasive i hope that you are clear third thing fundamental fundamental to users if there are issues in the finance statements which is fundamental to the users of course that is not only material but it is going to be pervasive effect to the finance statement best example is best example is what we discuss in the audit finalization webinar that is going concern that is going concern right so look look at here now i i am this should be very clear in your mind in the final statement when you analyze the misstatement there could be two scenarios that the auditors encounter what is that such misstatement could be material or such statement could be pervasive right. if it is material mean what the company when auditor start an audit auditor decide the material level using the rule of thumb benchmarks which is up using the auditor's judgment based on the audit firm's methodology if there is a issue identified above the material level threshold that is decided by the auditor we call such misstatement is material we are not stopping from that we are just going to another step to analyze such issue whether that misstatement whether such misstatement is pervasive how that pervasiveness is decided is very large impact it's very large impact goal face එකට ගියාට පස්සේ මොහොත කොච්චර ලොකුද කියලා හිතන තරම් අති විශාලයි බලපෑම ඒ බලපෑම එන්න පුළුවන් අවස්ථා තුනක් තියෙනවා එකක් තමයි ඒ අවස් ඒ ඒ ඒ ඒ සිදුවීම නැත්තම් ඒ තියෙන මිස්ටේට්මන්ට් එක මිස්ටේට්මන්ට් එක හෝ මිස්ටේට්මන්ට්ස් කියන එක ෆයිනාන්ස් ස්ටේට්මන්ට් එකේ ඒරියාස් එකකට නෙවෙයි ඒරියාස් ගොඩකට බලපානවා වෙන්න පුළුවන්. එහෙම නැත්නම් ෆයිනාන්ස් ස්ටේට්මන්ට් එකේ ගොඩාක් ඒරියාස් වැරදි වෙන්න පුළුවන්. අන්න ඒ වෙලාවකදී ඒක මැටීරියල් විතරක් නෙවෙයි ඒක පර්වසිව් වෙනවා. එහෙම නැත්නම් දෙවෙනි එක තමයි එක සිදුවීමක් හෝ එක මිස්ටේට්මන්ට් එකක් තියෙන්න පුළුවන්. හැබැයි ඒකෙන් වෙන බලපෑම මේ මූල ප්‍රකාශනයේ සමස්තයක් විදිහට ගත්තට පස්සේ ඒකේ සබ්ස්ටෑන්ෂල් එකන ප්‍රමාණාත්මක මට්ටමක් ඒ සාවද්‍ය ප්‍රකාශනය හරහා නිරූපණය කරනවා නම් අපි ඒකට කියනවා again it's pervasive third scenario is that the finance statements such issue is the so such misstatement is fundamental to the users so if it is fundamental to the users again it is told that it is a pervasive uda the best example is the going concern right so i hope that you are very clear so again i will quickly summarize the auditor comes and check the finance statement when you are checking that finance statement you have to report to the shareholders if there are issues it's a misstatement you call misstatement errors fraud this misstatement either could be material or pervasive the materiality is decided based on the benchmark desired benchmark decided based on the rule of thumb according to the firm methodology so if there are material misstatement auditor will modify the audit report or that will be incorporated in the audit report and there can be second scenario the pervasive not only that such issue is material that could be pervasive the pervasive mean very large impact it's not a small impact very large impact that impact will be defined are defined into the three circumstances one is there are misstatement which affect in the many line item of the finance statement there are misstatement affecting the one line item of the finance statement but such line item represent a substantial portion of the balance sheet or a statement of financial position and third one it is fundamental to the users understanding right so 
now before moving to the detailed discussion of audit report modified audit report you have to have a better understanding what is material and what is pervasive i'm sure that you clear so if you are at home at the moment if you are studying at the moment in your table please take a paper right please take a a4 paper and write this one and keep somewhere in your study place write this wording because i will show you when i am discussing the questions please the question because uh, uh, in the question discussion because you should not go wrong at the examination because this pervasiveness decision you have at the examination you have to make the decision material or pervasive so i will show you with with the example what to write in the that particular paper i will tell you so once i explain the uh, the other part of the theory right so now we are going to uh, the discuss the, the the what type of audit report are there for you to decide at the examination Thanks. Right. So, I am going to discuss now modified audit report. So, keep a short note on this. Right. I am writing in a small font because I have to write many things here. So, modified audit report that means not the standard report, the audit report is going to be changed depending on the circumstances. Modified audit report, there will be two circumstances, there will be two circumstances come here. These two circumstances are one, modified opinion, modified opinion other one is additional paragraph additional paragraph note down this diagram huh? this additional paragraph mean no impact to the opinion forget about this side forget about this side we will come last right so now if you see here the modified opinion that mean the audit report if you can remember third item of the audit report is what number one title number two addressee number three opinion paragraph so that is the so crucial uh, crucial thing in the audit report where you give your conclusion to shareholders stating that the finance statement do not contain material misstatement or the finance statement gives a true and fair view that is your conclusion. There are certain circumstances that opinion has to be changed. What we learn item number 3 in the audit report has to be changed depending on the circumstances. That circumstances we are going to discuss now. Right. This modified opinion could arise in the finance statement under the two circumstances. Right. One is when there are misstatements, when there are misstatements in the finance statement, opinion will have to be changed. Other one is scope limitation. What is this? What is the difference between what is the difference between the misstatements and the scope limitation? The misstatement means you know definitely this is wrong. Example, I told you previous example, depreciation charge is 10 million, correct depreciation is 12 million, there is a 2 million error, this is called misstatement. Got the point? The misstatement mean definitely you know this is a misstatement, this is an error that you have concluded. That is called misstatement. There is another circumstances, you do not have evidence to say whether this is correct or wrong, limiting your scope. 
So, best example, right, let us say inventory records are destroyed in your company, let us say. අපිට කියලා මම මෙහෙම දැක් කම්පැනි එකට ඔඩිට් එකට ගියාම කියනවා මේ අපේ මේ ඉන්වෙන්ටරි වල රෙකෝඩ්ස් තිබෙන්නේ ඒ ඔක්කොම තමයි ෆැක්ටරිය ෆැක්ටරිය ගිනි ගත්තා රෙකෝඩ් ඔක්කොම නැති වුණා අපි ඔඩිට් වලට ගියාම මේවා තියෙනවා සමහර ලාවට අපි ඔඩිට් එකට යනවා ඉන්වෙන්ටරි අපි යන්නේ ඔඩිට් එකට ෆයිනාන්ස් ස්ටේට්මන්ට් එන්ටයි ෆයිනාන්ස් ස්ටේට්මන්ට් ඔඩිට් කරන්න එතෙන්ට ගියාම අපිට කියනවා අපිට මේ අපේ ඉන්වෙන්ටරි සම්බන්ධයෙන් තිබු සියලු ලිපි ලේඛන විනාශ වුණා ඔල් ඉන්වෙන්ටරි රිලේටඩ් ඩොකියුමන්ට්ස් ගොට් ඩිස්ට්‍රොයිඩ් ඩියු ටු ද ෆයර් in the factory kiyala kiyena in such circumstances now you are in a difficult wicket you can say inventory wrong or you can say inventory is correct you cannot say the inventory does not contain uh, material misstatement or inventory contains material misstatement you are helpless you are helpless you cannot do anything in such circumstances we call scope limitation limiting your scope you cannot perform the audit procedures as we plan wa hita pidira wegena kriya patipati yata karanna beha mona hari badawak kinda an e wage welawakata api kiyenawa scope limitation ekak kiyala eme scope limitation ekak tiyena welawakat api audit opinion eka wenas karanawa example non availability of documents non availability of documents all right so now let's see the audit opinion is getting change in a two circumstances one is misstatement other one is a scope limitation okay now in this misstatement circumstances there are two scenarios that auditor has to address and scope limitation there are two circumstances that the auditor has to address right in this misstatement there will be a one situation where this misstatement is material where this misstatement is material and whether this misstatement is material and pervasive matakada dan api tikakata kalin katha kare menna mekata thamai in this misstatement that you identified in this misstatement that you identified during your audit that misstatement could be material or that misstatement could be material or pervas material and pervasive not only material material and pervasive ekena ati vishala bala payamak moolya prakashana walata ati vishalai remember this the same scenario here here also it, the scope limitation will be material or material and pervasive right so i'm going to tell you a few example here see in this particular scenario this is material but this is not material and pervasive let's say another example you are inventory wrong debtors wrong creditors wrong income tax wrong that is not only material that is material and pervasive in example they say inventory related documents are destroyed then only inventory is wrong therefore we can conclude that is material but they say entire company got fired a company ke accounting system me kama got hack and no information is available company ke manual documents tik okkama gini gatta computer system ek corrupt una mokutma information ne dan mokadda wenne it is not only material it is material and pervasive the scope limitation is not only material it is pervasive right so now this material and pervasive decision has to be made very much carefully that is why before coming to here i took about 15 minutes for you to explain what is materiality what is pervasiveness if you make wrong on this decision your answer is wrong right now see look at here if there is a misstatement which is material what type of audit opinion will be given 
if there is a misstatement that is material and what type of audit report will be given that is called qualified audit opinion qualified audit opinion then qualified kiwa ma hitanne pa meka me 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 mara ida qualified kiyanne sudusu gam sahitana kiyala na qualified audit opinion mean we are going to say because it is only a material so therefore we are going to say except except depreciation others present fairly in all material respect or except depreciation finance statement do not contain material misstatement except depreciation finance statement give a true and fair view so qualified kela kiyanne me issue eka hara ituruwa me issue eka ho issue eka deka tuna hara ituruwa material misstatement parin torai kela wigena warthawak denu right that is coming on when there are misstatement only that misstatement is material auditor gives an opinion call qualified audit report qualified audit opinion that is we call except that all others are good right look at here now when there are misstatement whether that misstatements are material and pervasive when there are misstatement that misstatements are material and pervasive in such circumstances auditor gives an opinion that is call adverse adverse opinion you see adverse opinion sorry adverse opinion so what is meant by adverse the adverse opinion mean we positively say we positively say finance statement do not present fairly finance statement do not present fairly or otherwise finance statement do not present fairly do not present fairly or otherwise we can say the finance statement contains material misstatement that's it positively we say finished finished nobody will rely on the finance statement right again i am telling if there are misstatement that misstatements are material and pervasive auditor gives an opinion call adverse adverse mean finance statement contains other other api anithela ari kiyanne mokadda moola prakashana pramanaatmaka saavadhya prakashana angin thorai finance statement do not contain material misstatement metana de kiyana except that issue finance statement do not contain material misstatement metana de kiyana finance statement contain material misstatement so therefore finance statement doesn't or finance statement doesn't finance statement don't give a impression of true and fair we positively we say don't good sorry don't rely on this this finance statements are not correct positively say right now you see we discuss the qualified opinion here and we discuss the adverse audit report here now now we are coming to the scope limitation scope limitation mean we don't know whether this is correct or wrong we can't comment because we are not given a adequate information in such circumstances look at here if it is material we give a qualified audit report again the qualified word is coming if it is only inventory related documents are not there then it is a qualification the same wise here we give except inventory we call except inventory all others are good that the conclusion we are going to say and then if this scope limitation material mean qualified if this scope limitation is material and pervasive there is a separate audit report that has to be given that is we call disclaimer of opinion disclaimer of opinion disclaimer of opinion not the disclaimer opinion disclaimer of opinion that mean what we say we cannot tell anything we cannot give an opinion in this circumstances we say finance statements completely wrong in this circumstances we say cannot 
give a report, cannot give opinion. You see, it's a fantastic auditing or a beautiful auditing. Audit report again, ahana, own of a prashna ka uttara liya na bulwaang venno, right? This is what the maximum will be tested in your examination. Audit opinion is coming under the two circumstances, audit opinion changes to the audit opinion, not the changes to the audit report. Huh? Modified audit report, one circumstance is change in the opinion. In these circumstances, there are changes, but no change, no changes to the audit opinion. So, changes to the audit opinion coming under two circumstances. One is misstatement, other one is scope limitation. So, misstatement, if it is material, qualified opinion. Misstatement, material and pervasive adverse opinion. The scope limitation, material, qualified, material and pervasive disclaimer of opinion. Now, this is the theory. Now, you have to apply this into practical scenarios. We will discuss the question. So, knowing this theory is not enough. First of all, you know, you need to aware the theory because definitely this is a 10 marks in your examination. Definitely 3 to 4, 5, at least 3 to 5 questions will be coming in your examination. Easily you can score. That is why at the beginning of the first video, I told you, this is an area where you can definitely score if the fundamentals are properly learned. That is the word I used at the first video at the beginning. You see the fundamentals now. If there are misstatement, material qualified, in such circumstances we say except, except of that issue all others good. If there are misstatement, material and purposive, we, we say adverse, we positively say finance statement do not present fairly, completely wrong. right? And the scope limitation, informations are not given, we cannot comment anything. If the informations are not given, if it is material, it is a qualified except inventory all others good. Material and purposive, you can't say it is completely wrong or you can't say completely correct. You cannot say it with a completely wrong or a completely wrong. So, therefore, you say cannot comment. So, Samaharaya will like it then up in Hano Arya Kohoma the Gila. The Agan Api Haridama than to a Buluanda bit of Honda the Naraka again. Up again cannot comment Gila. Right? Something like this. We don't know. Now, for you to remember, just remember there are three types of audit report. Three types of audit report can be seen in the audit of finance statement. One is qualified, other one is adverse, other one is disclaimer of opinion. If somebody asks from you what type of modified audit opinions will be there, <coughs> what type of audit opinions will be there. So, the answer is there are three types of audit opinions. One is qualified adverse disclaimer. If somebody asks from you qualified opinions are given at what under what circumstances qualified opinions are given if the misstatements are material or a scope limitations are material. If somebody asks under what circumstances the adverse opinion given you have to say if the misstatements are material and purposive adverse opinion will be given. If somebody asks disclaimer of opinion given under what circumstances, if there are scope limitation that is material and purposive. For your knowledge, additional knowledge it is given in the study text. There is extreme circumstances we call multiple uncertainties. If there are so many uncertain issues which we can't come in, in such circumstances also we give a disclaimer of opinion. When you are reading the study text, this word will come to you. Right, so this is the three types of audit opinion that can be given. So while we are discussing the uh, the, the the question, I will show you how that is uh, how that should be practically applied in a questions. Okay, so now <coughs> if if I if I ask a question from you, what is the worst audit report here? If I ask a question from you, what is the worst audit report from here? That means, if you give this one of this report, 
the shareholders will never invest in that particular company because this information this in the finance information are audited by the independent chartered accountant and giving to a report to the shareholder to make decisions of investment and other all other fact aspects so that particular shareholder will not invest further or they will take disposal of investment if you see a this type of audit report so therefore what is the worst audit report of course qualified can't be the worst no so qualified this at certain level it's wrong now you just tell me adverse or disclaimer of opinion what is worst what is worst mukad the making uh, making naraka wedima audit report ekak mukad so you can't say you can't come to a conclusion immediately you will feel the adverse opinion immediately you will feel or an adverse opinion is the worst somebody say disclaimer of opinion is the worst you cannot come to a conclusion i will tell you an example in singular for you to just to remember right just to remember not just a casual example api dan oya me 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 dakina api thamu out of kalambu giyar passe inna dan api thamu ඉන්නවා මේ මේ අපි කැලේ යන වෙලාවකදී නයෙක් ඉන්නවා පොළඟෙක් ඉන්නවා නයා සහ පොළඟ හරිද දැන් මේ සත්තු දෙන්නගෙන් මේ දෙන්නගෙන් බිස වැඩිම කවුද who is worst කවුද worst නයාද පොළඟද එක් සමහර කෙනෙක් කියන්න බලන්න නයා කියලා සමහර කෙනෙක් කියන්න බලන්න පොළඟ කියලා ඒක ඒක it එහෙම හරියටම සමහර වෙලාවට කියන්න බෑ දෙන්නම එක හා සමානයි සමහර වෙලා depending on the time දෙන්නගෙම දෂ්ට කිරි මහරා කෙනෙක් මැරෙන්න පුළුවන් so this example casual example i told you for just to remember you cannot decide which one is worst so either <coughs> sorry either adverse or disclaimer of opinion depending on the circumstances both are worst both are worst so therefore it's not appropriate for a management to get an adverse opinion or a disclaimer of opinion of the auditors so then that indicate that the fundamentally complete finance statements are wrong and nobody come and invest in your accounts so this is the power of the auditing if auditor gives such a report so that is the end of the company end of the company mean so mostly the company will have to face some problem finance problem and so many regulatory problems and all so that they have to correct in that least the next financial year to get the another clean report or a qualified report right right now this is uh, the modified opinion now we will discuss the the additional paragraph section as well so this this headings shall remember modified opinion additional paragraph so in this additional paragraph that mean if you can remember the format of audit report number 1 title addressy and then opinion paragraph there is no ch change to the opinion paragraph under this but in this circumstances opinion is, is going to be changed in here no changes to the audit opinion but to to make it understand to the reader additional paragraph incorporated into the normal audit report there are 13 sub elements no in addition to that 13 sub elements additional paragraph is incorporated due to few circumstances but no impact to the audit report there are two circumstances like that right one is we call emphasis of matter emphasis of matter other one we call other matter remember this one na huh? there are separate <coughs> if i tell you the standard numbers for this so this is sla us 705 right this is sla us sla us 706 but you don't want to you are not required to remember the standard numbers and all that is you can this you can remember the corporate level one right right there are two additional paragraph depending on the circumstances that the auditors incorporate in the audit of the finance statement and audit final audit report that is emphasis of matter 
and the other matter. Emphasis of matter is basically coming in under the two circumstances. Emphasis of matter is carefully note down this one. Emphasis of matter is incorporated to the audit report under two circumstances. One is right, which is something fundamental to the finance statement user, fundamental to the understanding or fundamental to the user, let us say. Fundamental to the user. If there is a information which is fundamental to the user, N, 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 N should come, right? N, which is already, already disclosed in the final statement. This is the most, most, most important fact if you are to decide the emphasis of matter which something should be something already disclosed or already presented in the final statement. So, accordingly remember emphasis of matter is given on a two circumstances that is something which is fundamental to the user understanding and already disclosed or presented in the finance statement. So, in that circumstances auditor may add an additional paragraph to the auditor's report. Ideally, it will come after the CAM section or before the CAM section that the auditor can decide. Additional paragraph is added to the audit report referring to that the referring to that disclosure. Audit report take a CAM section at a calling ho pass auditor decide current pulang acre. Amatara paragraph audit report take a ad current up here thirteen section katakarani. A thirteen section ekater Amatara paragraph a danawa auditor dakin the theorem men the mehma karania. Ekatamai may auditor the theorem make a user's lot of fundamental make a meala than a gata yutuma karania. Mule precaution of a idiripat karla tibena namu than a gata yutuma karania. Audit at a Buluan make a highlight current audit report. A audit report take a highlight current at a Pikinova emphasis of matter. Kira highlight current a Kohomada, a Pikinova. We draw your attention to note number 16 of the final statement, which is discussed or disclosed about the subsequent event occurred after this particular date. Example We draw your attention to note number 16. We draw your attention to note number 16. Why? It is already disclosed and fundamental to the user's understanding. If me have not taken my refer to any fundamental the activity, a counselor discuss that is fundamental the activity. Auditor is going to add an additional paragraph to highlight that. If opinion ne ka kwaat, if a misstatement ne ka kwaat, scope limitation ne ka kwaat, material what purpose what mukut man hai. If a misstatement ne ka kwaat, scope limitation ne ka kwaat ne bhi, ha bhi. Which is fundamental to the user understanding, which is already presented in the final statement. You give additional paragraph stating that we draw your attention to note number XXXXX on this on this matter. That's it. We are highlighting. Again, up you highlight karo with the karan with the make a me hari the varadika comment again the name of the hari the varadina make a method. I will leave right then. Eka hari, have I just to highlight. Now I know you will have a question. I will explain you at then. Right. So, fundamental to the user understanding and already disclosed in the finance statement. Right. Example. Example. Number one. Right. A significant. A significant subsequent event. If there is a sub, if there is a significant subsequent event occurred, for example, 31st March 2020, there was a major fire occurred in 15th of April and entire inventory got destroyed, or inventory entire factory got destroyed. A significant event occurred after 31st March, which is already disclosed in the finance statement. Then, our Ginnak Ativila company, my Vinasavila, Tunaithi Sagim Passe. So, the first thing is that the first thing is that the first thing is that the 
audit report ke highlight karnawa we draw your attention to note number 16 which explain about the subsequent significant subsequent event occurred and got destroyed the fire and all that is explanations are given right another example is right early application or early application of accounting standards. The example like with theater. So, this is too much for you. Let us say insurance standard IFRS 17, SLFRS 17 is applicable from 2022 or 2023. Company early applications are permitted. If you do have early application, then auditor believes that that has to be highlighted to the shareholder otherwise shareholder will get misled. So, therefore, that is already presented in the finance statement and which is fundamental to the user in such circumstances uh, emphasis of matter will be given. So, another example is or a significant events. If there is a significant event had taken place during the year which affect to the finance statement which has already been disclosed in the, uh, the accounts in such circumstances if it is fundamental auditor may add to the emphasis of meta paragraph right right the other one now coming to the other matter what is the other matter other matter is something completely different emphasis of matter related to fundamental to the user and what is disclosed in the finance statement other matter is something completely different it related to the auditor's dealing. It, if the auditor believes that, if the auditor wants to communicate something in relation to the specifically to the audit, as part as a, it's a, it's a matter related to the audit. If you want to communicate to the shareholder, at that circumstances you add other matter. So emphasis of matter is directly dealing with the finance statement. The other matter is directly dealing with the auditor's dealings, right? So, in that circumstances, if auditor believes, if auditor believes, it is with regard to audit of the year or it is with regard to auditor's responsibility or it is with regard to audit report. If you want to clarify, if you want to highlight something with regard to the audit, with regard to the auditor's responsibility or with regard to the audit report, auditor may add an additional paragraph in the auditor's report that is called other matter paragraph. Not the other information which we discussed something else, this is other matter paragraph. It's so, a very best example or a very good example is if the auditor want to highlight that you are appointed as auditor of this particular year, whereas you have not, you are not the auditor of the previous year, because comparative figures are presented in the final statement. If you want to communicate to the highlight to the shareholder or remind the shareholder that we were not the auditors of the previous year that will be one of the important information that the shareholder should aware. Of course, shareholders the one who is appointing the auditor, but they can't remember now. So, better to communicate that because so many shareholders are there. So, previous year audit was done by another auditor. If you want to communicate something related to, just understand, if you want to communicate something related to audit, audit, auditor's responsibility or audit report, in such circumstances audit add an additional paragraph that is called other matter paragraph, very rare. I have an in my practice as a auditor of last 11 years. The, the I have seen very few circumstances where the auditors incorporated other matter paragraph. Of course, this standard came into the effect somewhere 2014 or a 13. 
Other matter paragraph is auditor is giving on a main three circumstances if the auditor believes that auditor has to communicate it to the shah has to communicate to the shareholder on the audit auditor's responsibility. So audit report only auditor add an additional paragraph. The best example is if you want to highlight to the shareholder that the previous audit was done not by not done by me. It is another auditor. So, I am the auditor of your company from this company this year. So, in such circumstances you add an additional paragraph that is a common example can be seen in the practice. right? So, these two are completely different thing. Emphasis of matter mean it is something related to the finance statement. Other matter mean which is something related to the audit. It is more toward to the management dealing. This is more toward the auditors dealing. right? In here two concepts. It has to be fundamental and already presented in the finance statement in such circumstances only you can give a emphasis of matter. Other matter is given in the auditor's judgment it, it is with regard to the auditor's responsibility auditor audit report. right? So, this is what maximum could be tested in your examination. With regard to the modified audit report I am summarizing again. We learn the first video the standard audit report. We learn the 13 section. Mata ke ingkiri bodo magit tek kebalan. 13 section. Number one. Title. Number two. Addressi. Number three. Opinion paragraph. Number four. Basis for opinion. Number five. Key audit matters. Number six. Other information. Number seven responsibilities for the responsibilities for the finance statement number 8 auditors responsibility number 9 other legal compliance reporting and number 10 membership number number 11 signature number 12 addressed number 13 date that's the normal audit report then you are changing the audit report to address the circ specific circumstances that is called modified audit report. The modified audit report there are two modified opinion and additional paragraph. In this circumstances you are going to change the opinion. In this circumstances you are not going to change the opinion. There you add additional paragraph only. Adding an additional paragraph there are two emphasis on other matter. So, emphasis mean which is something already disclosed in the finance statement but it is fundamental to the user. So, then you are issuing an emphasis of matter and other matter mean which is something related to the audit auditors report auditors responsibility right so i couldn't tell you one thing now this emphasis of matter generally it is parked before the cam or after the cam it's depending on the situation but other matter can be parked in anywhere in the audit report mostly after the emphasis of matter anywhere because there is no specific location given Auditor can decide depending on the appropriateness we are to put that one generally it is put after the emphasis of matter right. And then if there are modified opinion there are two circumstances one is misstatement other one is a scope limitation. Under the misstatement there are two circumstances material and material and pervasive. So material mean qualified material and pervasive mean adverse opinion qualified mean except that others are good. Material and pervasive under the misstatement adverse we positively say finance statement do not present fairly. Under the scope limitation, if it is material qualified, we say accept and material and purpose, we say disclaimer of opinion. That means we cannot give an opinion on the finance statement. So, this is but the entire summary discussion of the modified audit opinion. Now, I am going to answer you. Are any, yeah, you may have another now question. What is the difference between the key audit matter and the emphasis of matter? Will not be tested in your examination. BL5 will not go into that detail. But if some students in the CL1 also may be watching this video, I am telling that. And beyond that, even if you are coming to the CL1, you should have this understanding. Or forget about that. One day when you work in audit firm as audit associate, your partner comes and say, put as a key audit matter. Now you are confused that key audit matter or emphasis of matter. What is the difference between these two? The, the meaning of key audit matter and the emphasis of matter is almost same almost same. But the difference is emphasis of matter is applicable for any company but key audit matters are applicable only for a PLC that is one definition one change. Key audit matters only for PLC emphasis of matter can be applied for irrespective of either PLC or a 
private limited. The second key change is if anything to become uh, emphasis of matter, it has to be fundamental to the use understanding and it has to be already disclosed in the finance statement. It has to be fundamental to the use understanding. It should be very extreme circumstances only emphasis of matter will come, very extreme circumstances. It has to be fundamental, not everything. But if you look at the key audit matter, key audit matter if you can look at, if you can remember the previous video I told you, the key audit matters are coming under three circumstances. One is significant risk, significant management judgment and significant event. Then all three circumstances and in all three circumstances, key audit matters will be coming and then out of the many key audit matters that you noted during the audit, you can decide as the auditor's judgment what to put it to the report. So, some issues will be fundamental, some issues will not be fundamental. All key audit matters are not fundamental. So, therefore, in a many organization, there can be many key audit matters in the PLC. In organization, there can be many key audit matters, but that all key audit matters will not become a fundamental to the user understanding. I hope that you are clear. So, in, in a company, there are many key audit matters, CAM, we call CAM means simply, right. There are many CAM, right. Out of this one CAM, it will be fundamental to the user understanding in, in such circumstances, emphasis of matter is coming. right. This is advanced auditing. There can be another circumstances where another fact which you have not covered as CAM can become emphasis of matter. So, therefore, no need to think of into that detail. You need to understand emphasis to become emphasis of matter it has to it, it is not required no, it is not required to be a key audit matter. It has to be a fundamental to this understanding. This has to be looked separately this has to be looked separately. May the Kekatukaram Baluot Vade Anagano. This is fundamental to his understanding and already disclosed, then it is an emphasis of matter. If there are three circumstances significant risk, significant management, judgment, and the significant event, auditor can decide what to be presented as a key audit matter. Right? This is a two different scenarios. But even if you sometime even if you treat this is as a two different scenarios, there will be a circumstances like this. One issue can become a CAM, the same issue can become a key audit matter. Emphasis of matters when I am key audit matters when I am a have you ever seen a key audit matter? Emphasis of matter can be not pulvang, key audit matter can be not pulvang, key auditing standard. Take care of and a eva give a lava kadi then key audit matter, a comma matter, a key audit matter section naked in a manang, emphasis of matter naked in a manang, a deca. You put as a key audit matter and give the more prominence to that key audit matter. This is there in the study text you can read. If there is a key audit matter as well as the emphasis of matter, it is coming as a one point, then you decide not to put as emphasis of matter and you keep under the key audit matter and you highlight the concern, right. But remember that. Key audit matter is applicable only for PLCs, right. I hope that you I answered your difficult all questions, I mean what the question that could arise in your mind. Another thing which we discussed in the last uh, audit finalization uh, webinar on uh, going concern. In that webinar, if you can remember, I was telling there are four circumstances, there were four circumstances that audit report will have to be changed in terms of going concern, right. I am not going to explain now, but I told you after we discuss this uh, entire diagram of audit reporting, now you go back and watch that particular part of the audit, last part of the going concern video, you will understand. At that time you did not understand what is adverse, what is disclaimer, what is emphasis of what is, what is, you did not understand, right. So, therefore, 
I request you now you go, go back and watch the four circumstances of the audit reporting we discussed in the going concern chapter last part of the video, right. Then you will understand. So, if you have any questions, so we can, uh, I always welcome the question. If you have any question, you can put me through, I will, um, anyway, I am giving you contacts, my contact details. You can send it to me WhatsApp message or the, uh, the text message. Text message, of course, not possible or in a, you can social media or somewhere if I am there you can put that question I will answer as and when I can and also the my email ID also I am giving at the end so that you can send an email I can reply accordingly if when I have a when I have the time because this is interesting if you learn this is in a logical way you can answer any of the questions right shall we look at quickly the uh, the questions Now one more thing, I am not going to touch the, now Now each and every circumstance, qualified, adverse, qualified, disclaimer of opinion and emphasis of another matter, how the audit report is going to be changed, depending on the, all these circumstances are given in the study text very nicely at the la latter part of the chapter. So if you understand all this uh, concept, just to read, it is a matter of just to read that, uh, the, the particular section, it is not. Uh, not that much important why how the changes are to be made but you need to understand the overall idea if it is qualified mean except if it is disclaimer mean uh, the disclaimer mean we say we cannot give an opinion if it is adverse mean we say basically the final statement do not present value right so we will quickly look at the question now question discussion so in addition to the our revision Anyway, we will be having a session to discuss the selective question in your revision kit. So, in addition to that, I have selected few questions to discuss now. So, pilot paper question number 39. If you look at this question, it is a very simple question for you now. Hero PLC has been in the business of manufacturing and selling air conditioners. The statement of financial position as of 31st March 2019 shows an inventory balance of rupees 400 million. In April and May 2019, all air conditioners held as of 31st March 2019 were sold for rupees 320 million. Hero PLC's profit before tax for the year ended 31st March 2019 was 300 million. Which type of audit report opinion would be most appropriate? The word is important, most appropriate. For Hiru PLC, assuming the directors refuse to make any adjustment in respect of the above. So, this is a combination of chapters. This is a combination of a different chapters, chapters what we discussed previously. Hiru PLC, the may auditing questions only the Hundur then a question again, Barana make a private limited take the PLC card. The Hodam Udaharne, key audit matters key in a Gadalavin in a private limited take a kunana. So, therefore, in audit reporting question, always be vigilant or alert about the whether the company is a PLC or a private limited. So, Hero PLC is the has been in the business of manufacturing and selling air conditioners. The statement of financial position as of 31st March 2019, the next one is in auditing question you have to be alert, the date, the dates are very important, shows an inventory balance of 400 million, 31st March in 19, inventory got the million million In April and May 2019, all air conditioners held as of 31st March 2019 was sold for rupees 320 million, let us say. There was a stock of 31st March 2019 of 400 million, but this inventory has been sold as 320 million, that means 80 million loss, sorry, 80 million reduction. That means net realizable value of the stock is less than the, less, it is 80 million less than the cost. Now, you have to make a decision as per the event after the reporting date standard number LK is 10, whether this is an adjustable event or an unadjustable event which we discussed in the last week webinar, sorry last webinar. Accordingly, this 80 million is an adjustable event. Why? This represents the further evidences on a condition of the inventories held as at 31st March 2019. So, therefore, this is an adjustable event that 80 million should be adjusted in the 31st March 2019 itself. 
now if it is not adjusted this is becoming a misstatement hero plc is profit before tax for the year ended 31st march 2019 is 300 million why this property is given for you to decide the materiality for you to decide the materiality 300 million into 5 percent or 10 percent you can take if you take 10 percent still 30 million 5 percent mean 15 million which type of audit report opinion would be most appropriate for hero plc assuming the directors refuse to make any adjustments so quickly look at the board for one minute please now please do this one I don't know whether examination will be physical or online for you. Whatever the online or a physical, when you go for the examination, please try to memorize this diagram. If it is a physical examination, please in the paper itself write down this diagram. Why? This is most important. Don't make a decision by memorizing. Make this diagram and make the decision. In this particular question, what's happening here? There was a 400 million worth of inventory. Those have been sold at 320. There is a 80 million loss. That means 80 million loss. This should be adjusted in 31 3 2019 itself. If you don't adjust, this 80 million is a misstatement. This 80 million is a misstatement. Now we have to see this misstatement is a material low, material and pervasive. So now your material level is 300 million is the profit before tax. If you take the 5 percent, as the material level benchmark, 15 million is your material level. When your material level is 15 million, if there is a 80 million worth of misstatement, whether it is material or material and pervasive. Of course, there are no factors given here for you to decide as pervasive. If you are to decide as a pervasive, there should be a lot of information given. Right? And now at the previous discussion, I told you take a A4 paper to write something now writes this, this this small in a paper and keep somewhere in outside in or keep the in the place we are study material sorry pervasiveness is an extreme circumstances pervasiveness is an extreme circumstances please i i don't know whether Immediately, don't come to a conclusion looking at the question, it is pervasive. No. Ara maha mood, mama kiwe siye ka golf face kar gyaala mood lo kochchara vishala de kila kiwa hama eka manin ne bhe. It aramat ati vishala ven no ne. So therefore, remember, the pervasiveness is an extreme circumstances where you don't come to a conclusion immediately. Ara neka kole liya gaan na pervasiveness is an extreme circumstances kila kole liya la gaala tiya gaan na. विभाग प्रश्न करने को टा रिवीजन किट के प्रश्न करने को टा पर्वत से उनसे किना डिसीजन नगर इम्मीडिएटली इन्ने पा दैट इस अ जजमेंटली एक्सट्रीम सकामटेंसेस सो इन दिस सकामटेंसेस इन दिस डायग्राम दिस इश्यू इस मटेरियल बट नॉट लाइक पर्वतीय सो दे आर फॉर ओपिनियन विल बी द क्वालिफाइड ओपिनियन नाउ � Unmodified report with an emphasis of matter paragraph, adverse opinion, qualified opinion. Of course, this should be a qualified or except for opinion that is answer D. I hope that you are very clear the question that I discussed. So, you have to discuss or you have to think in a little bit in a practical and way and a smart way. Pilot paper question number 41. Which Two of the following are reason why an auditor would need to modify the audit opinion. This is a theoretical question. Right? Which two of the following are reason why an auditor would need to modify the audit opinion? Me, we bahagi di tawe kak mamme kya ne? Audit opinion, audit report kya ne ka batalwa kya ne pa? Ika yaam diagram me ka lastana ta pahadi kar la dunne. Audit opinion modify karna kya lagya ne? Misstatement scope limitation. But if you think it is a audit report modification, mean Additional paragraph also come in. Right. They conclude that there is a material inconsistency between the audited finance statement and the other information contained in the annual report. We didn't discuss such a thing, so therefore that is not a modification. We wish to draw attention to the matter that is fundamental to the user's understanding of the finance statement. Anna Balan Mangara Q1 audit opinion kinaki vadagatkama. 
they wish to draw attention to a matter that is fundamental to the user's understanding of the finance statement that is a modification to the report that is modification to the report but it is not a modification to the opinion because it is an emphasis of matter paragraph then four they have been unable to obtain sufficient appropriate sorry number three they conclude that the finance statement as a whole are not free from material misstatement of course the audit report audit opinion will have to be changed they have been unable to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence to conclude that the finance statement as a whole are free from material misstatement Answer number 3 is talking about the misstatement. Answer number 4 is talking about the scope limitation. Those are the two circumstances which the audit opinion should be modified. Opinion, na? opinion should be modified. So, therefore, answer 3 and 4 is the answer that is coming under the part D of the question. Balanukum eke auditing valatina lassana. Theory hariyata danna vanang. Ara diagram meka thaniye ngandhinne pulwa na mamme dunna diagram meka short note teka daag neka thaniye ngandhinne. Thaniye ngandhinne pulwa na mamme oona question neka uttara liyaan pulwa. So I request you this video number one and two please go back and again and again at least two to three times watch. That is more than enough for the reading the study text. You have to read the study text as well. But make ahapav deparak ahanna pulwa nang. Definitely you can score that the three four questions that are coming in the examination right revision kit and also remember the examiners one of the common area or interesting area in testing these questions is audit reporting then one before the last which of the following is not a necessary component of a standard auditors report for a limited company now you know the 13 subsections of the auditors report the question is which of the following is not a necessary component not a mandatory component component of the auditor's report number one a titling identifying the whom the report is addressed that has to be there identification of the finance statements audited has to be there confirmation of the accounting convention used in preparing the finance statement doubtful confirmation of the director's responsibility in connection with the preparation of the finance statement so therefore answer a b and d are correct so therefore answer c is not a necessary component you can just recall the 11 sub elements which we discussed sorry the revision kit question number 15.5 what type of auditors report should be used if the auditors identified a non adjusting event which he considered needs disclosure in the final statement but the directors refused to include the disclosure if there is a mis disclosure to be made in the final statement if the directors do not agree, it is a non-compliance of the accounting standard. If it is a non-compliance of the accounting standard mean it is becoming a misstatement. right? So, now here it says what type of auditor's report should be issued if the auditor identified a non-adjusting event which he considered needs disclosure in the finance statement. But the directors refused to include a misstatement. The method in a prashnitamai, you are not in a position to decide whether it is disclosure, the, whether this disclosure is material or this disclosure is material and pervasive. Make a time on our A for Kolelian Kiwe. Pervasiveness is pervasiveness is an extreme circumstances. Then my question is my question is silent. You are not given the information to decide whether it is pervasive or not. Balanoko. My question is up it decide karan na deal and information pervasive than the kila. Anna e will have it make a practical path and time a question like a hadala the inheritance then sama and ning at Tremakatavak would maybe get scenario at the comma. Mama practicers practicing auditor can a chartered accountant can make with the matter make a tagal utter all what I know because I can practice again in a practical application again a mind to get a question paper to hadra deal now I'm giving you this examination tips because you are not a practical auditor you don't know now these are exam tips if the pervasiveness details are not given for you to think always take the answer it is not pervasive right that is why I told you to write in a small paper pervasiveness is an extreme circumstances where auditor does not come to an immediate conclusion that is pervasive 
I hope that you are clear. If the question is not very clear, you have to take the side of only material. So, in this case, we have to take the concern. It is only material. So, that means answer D, the qualified opinion. Without looking at anything, you can uh, the decide the answer. <coughs> right? So, with that, we are closing the session for today. So, give me one minute. So, if you have any question, always welcome the question. Uh, as and when I can reply, I will reply, right. So, now what we discussed today basically, so we discussed basically today part A of the video, audit report, standard audit report content. There were 13 areas we discussed, right. Part B of the video, we discussed the, part B of the webinar, we discussed the modification to the audit report. One is modification to the opinion and modification to the report as a, an additional paragraph. So, you need to have a very clear cut, solid understanding of this theory because you cannot have a doubtful theory in this question, in this particular section. Doubts the end So, you have to have that clear, solid theory and do all the questions that are given in the revision kit. There are so many questions. The pilot paper is there, mock paper is there. So, watch these two videos again, do all the questions you will get uh, yourself you will get a proper understanding into these two sections that we discussed today so that is more than enough for you to address or a write or face any of the question that are coming in your examination right so with that with this webinar number today's webinar number 9 is this one session number 9 so with that we are finishing the, we discussed the nine videos to the to auditing floor discussion starting from introduction to assurance and the external auditing audit planning agreeing terms risk assessment then we came to the audit procedures theory practical audit procedures finalization and we came to the audit report so i took a long time for for the auditing section because for you to give you a correct picture on the auditing flow. So, if you are a successful student on this auditing flow, you should be able to draw the entire auditing flow in your memory or through your memory in a paper. Then, if you know the floor of the auditing and if you are reading the study text, you will understand the logic behind this theory. It will definitely help you to get to address the practical questions that are coming in your examination. Right. So, we will let us meet the next webinar most probably with the internal control. Thank you.